<laughs> Kitty in a cone. <laughs> And his majaz. Okay. Does he need serenia? I got it. Okay. Do you want me to give it? Nope. Okay. I wait till they're sleepy. Got it. <laughs> because why not? Yeah. This dog supposedly has an enlarged adrenal gland, which either could produce cortisol, which they tested the referring vet and did not, or the other thing that sometimes they'll produce is adrenaline, and it's supposed to be called pheochromocytomas. So we are going to get a urine sample to test for the pheochromocytoma. Um, so this guy is getting a head CT primarily because he has chronic ear infections. He actually has like a head tilt and has some neurologic signs from it. Um, so he's getting an ear flush and like antibiotics placed by his allergist next week. But they wanted to rule out any sort of structural disease, like a mass that might be predisposing him. Um, but then when I saw him for consult, his owner was reporting that he was having some weight loss at home. So I wanted to evaluate his GI tract, but he's so big that something like ultrasound is not going to be super helpful because it's limited by the size of him. So we just decided to do abdominal CT as well since we're going to be doing a head CT and we're just going to take some biopsies just to make sure that he doesn't have any underlying GI disease. So, Miss Lucy had thyroid carcinoma. It was removed. She had a CT previously before any treatment. So, she had a CT, uh, the car carcinoma was removed, and the treatment for um, a thyroid carcinoma is a carboplatin treatment. So, we did six rounds of carboplatin. So, basically, she had a treatment of carboplatin once every four weeks. And now that she's done with that mm -hmm. protocol, um, she's having a follow-up CT to make sure that she's still well and nothing's metastasized and her uh, thyroid's not recurred. So that's where she's at. According to mom and dad, she's doing fantastic and doing really, really well. So we'll have a CT today and hopefully it'll be nice and clear and we can give her the green light to continue enjoying life. Um, so a CT scan is uh, advanced imaging. Um, an X-ray will give you a 2D version, just a flat image. A CT scan is more intricate. It's a 3D version of an X-ray. You think of it as like if your patient is a loaf of bread, Wonder Bread per se, and each slice that you pick up from the Wonder Bread is a slice that the CT will give, give you. So as you see, once I do my first images, it's just showing me a basic x-ray showing me um, a top view and then a lateral view just like this this is like a top view and this is a lateral view and then from here I can direct my CT exactly what where do I want my images to, to slice from the nose this is a nasal cavity the brain um, so it's cutting through her head I was going through her neck, so this is the endotracheal tube, and this is her spine. And we're gonna go anything black is there, so this is her lungs, this is her heart, all vessels in the lungs. And now you have your diaphragm, now she's cutting through the diaphragm and into the stomach, uh, intestines, kidneys, more intestines, um, and then all the way through, and then this is her head.